The following significant figure after Eratosthenes, who also calculated the circumference of the Earth, was Christopher Columbus. The only problem was that his calculations were very different. He claimed that the Earth's circumference was one-third smaller than the value calculated by Eratosthenes. In Columbus's time, no educated person in Europe doubted that the Earth was spherical. What is more, people believed that this knowledge had come to them from the Greeks, although the emphasis had shifted. There is a beautiful legend about Christopher Columbus that says that, to prove to officials that our planet is not flat, in the year 14, he sailed not east but west because he believed he would reach the shores of India. That is how he discovered a new land that Europe had never seen before, and the only real obstacles in Columbus's way were funding problems for the expedition. Still, there is absolutely no reason to believe that Christopher Columbus proved that the Earth is a sphere. The first truly real expedition to prove that the Earth is round was carried out by Ferdinand Magellan in the year 1519 from the shores of Spain to the islands of what is now Indonesia.